Welcome back to another Healy Bar update. I'm here with Long Haul Paul today, and he brought the brand new Yamaha Tenere 700. These are a little bit scarce right now for lots of different reasons, but we're very, very uh, grateful to have it here. Paul came a week ago, and we took some measurements uh, of the handlebar risers. We used uh, current production for the larger Tenere as a starting point. And over the last week, we've generated a new handlebar riser, which we'll show you in a second. So, Paul, what are your feelings after getting a few miles on this machine, um, ergonomically? I, I'm coming off a I'm coming off a full fledged luxury touring bike, so um, I wasn't sure what to expect. But actually, um, the bike in its stock form is pretty darn comfortable. Um, I am going to have a custom seat made, so it's going to be wider here in the back portion. Um, I have a 28-inch leg, and the seat is uh, 34 and a half inches from the factory. So, um, being able to have a little wider portion in the back yeah. means I'm going to have to scooch back a little bit. And doing so, what I want to do is be able to have the bars in a comfortable position. Right now, they're comfortable if I sit right up front. This is pretty good, it's not bad. Um, standing up and things are okay, but if I'm gonna be back here, where, I'm, where, where the comfort part of my seat is gonna be, now I'm, I'm kind of reaching. Yeah. And so I would, I would rather have you know, a little bit of a bend in my arms for those long hours, and then you know, the upright seating position is, is also good. I also wanna be able to, to work the bike off-road and be able to have you know, full control of the bars. So, when I'm standing on the pegs, that's that's also important. So, having a little bit of adjustability in the bars is going to allow me to do do different things that I want to do, and it's going to be more comfortable for those you know 18-hour days in the road. Nice, nice. Well, why don't we uh, we put on our adapter and then we'll get your feedback on it and see uh, how it works out. All right, sounds good. Okay, to do the install of the handlebar riser on a 2021 Tenere 700. We've got uh, we've covered the tank completely, and we've got two rags ready. We're going to take the handlebar off without touching anything, none of the control surfaces, nothing. We're going to take off the two caps. We're going to take the bar and put it in front, and let it drape down here. So you're going to use a six millimeter hex. Six millimeter hex. Break them free. Excellent. Paul's uh, giving us, us some assistance here so we can uh, film and twist at the same time. This is actually quite simple. I'm going to put the, the time at, maybe not the first one, but uh, at something like 15, 20 minutes for this install. Um, one of the things on a stock machine, you're probably looking at 15 minutes. The more uh, controls and wires and whatnot and devices. The farkles that we add farkles to our machines. added could increase that cycle time. But nice to cover your uh, seat so you have a place to put parts where they don't fall off. And it's nice to have someone hold the bar if that's possible. Or if you're going, going to take the bar and place it in front, and then it let it drape down. Just like that. Okay, we're using the M8 by 25 screws provided, and uh, it will self-align itself. You see, it it fits it fits well within the uh, stock riser, and uh, so we'll screw it in and we'll torque it. Now, Paul Paul is going to torque those M8 screws with a six millimeter hex to 16 foot pounds. I'll snug them up first. They are. So at this point, when we put the handlebar back, it's going to kind of stretch stuff a bit because we're going from here up to here. So it's 30 millimeters this way and 25 millimeters that way for actually a net gain of up and back of an inch and a quarter. So we'll put those back in place, and I'm gonna gonna hold these, and we're gonna now we're gonna have to. We have to get it right this way, and it's a little bit of guesswork. You can see where the clamps were before. We can certainly adjust it. 
put on the cap so the space is in the back. There's a small dimple in the front. Yes. So now dim gonna... dimples up. Dimples up. So we want to snug down the forward two screws first. You can see there's a gap in the back. That's what we want. That I'll have to judge with uh, Valley models. Good mark them. So Paul just decided after sitting on the bike that the bars need to go that way a little bit, which he just adjusted it. And I'm using my torque wrench again right here. He's using <laughs> his torque wrench again. I guess his two fingers per side is a torque wrench. Of course, these fingers are bigger than these fingers. So that rules out any accuracy. <laughs> it's more of a feely thing. Ooh. Now we're going to... Oh, that feels good. Oh, he likes this part, Ooh. though. Mm. Oh, it's smiling. It, he's oh, he's wow. got a bend in his arms. His Look at that. Elbows are pointed in the right direction. And let's get these towels out of here. I think we're pretty close. And maybe a little bit more that way still. Right, we're still in the left right thing. Have to get this right for lane splitting. Yeah, you don't want to be taking a constant left. <laughs> so, you do want to get it right, correct, in the left to right department. So, I think Paul's got it spaced right. Now we're going to go after the best or the optimum wrist angle for him. Now, remember, the bar's already about, let's say, an inch and a quarter closer to him overall and over an inch higher. If you do a lot of off-road or combination, you may want to find um, a happy medium between um, slab riding and off-road riding, trail riding, back road riding. Um, also, it wouldn't take a whole lot of work to adjust if you're going to spend multiple days on the interstate to put them into the most comfortable seat position. But I think what Paul's doing is he's giving it a, a good in-between for standing and which when you have a bike like this, it'd be silly to not uh, consider its off-road capabilities. And you can adjust this while you're riding, right? No. Just loosen these up and... No, you disregard that comment. <laughs> but Paul's going to take a test ride and we'll see what he thinks when he gets back. say uh it's easier to wheelie really <laughs> well it's got me it's got me sitting way back you know so um it's comfortable no it, it's great it um it handles it handles fine you know i played with it out on the road a little bit and um it's nice because again sitting back where the widest part of the seat is for those long days on the road i've got a real uh, good reach and I've got my arms are bent so it's it's comfortable um, You know if I want to come up front still I've got room if I want to stand up. I've got I've got nice control um, Yeah, it's it's uh, nice. I like the position and of course I can change it I know I'm not supposed to do it while I'm moving but right. I can change the, the position which will which will bring it back Change change the bars. It also changes your wrists a little bit. Oh, yeah um, so Nice yeah, I think I think it's really great that you've got a lot of adjustability um, in the setup. Yeah, I'm 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 a happy customer. Nice. You know our approach. We don't just make it higher, which brings it back only marginal. We offset it so you don't have to get into a lot of height change to get them closer to you. I think it's a good compromise. So it's uh, 30 millimeters up and 25 back uh, for a net gain of. Um, about 32 millimeters up and back. Wonderful. And for those guys that like to Farco up their motorcycles, you've got a couple of spots where you can add uh, ram mounts, so you can add uh, all your uh, all your uh, trinkets. Nice. So thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thank you.